What is going on, lords and ladies? Chiskel here. And today, it's time for KVK and Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. Today's live stream is sponsored by Yuzu Games. That is the makers of Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. And I have been waiting for KVK this entire time, baby. And we're finally here. Now, in Game of Thrones Winter is Coming, this is a one-day event. It starts at reset, runs till the next reset. And a lot is at stake because in this game, you actually invade other people's kingdoms. So maybe we'll be doing some invading, probably we'll be doing some defending. And in just the next 25 minutes or so, we're going to find out who our opponent is and the fireworks begin in earnest. Okay, what are the chances I randomly play the same song over again? Hello, music player? So, before we jump in game, big shout out to the members and moderators in the chat. Benji, Fubian, Ty, what? Treyes, Black Wolf, Beast Slef, Rave2563, Sasuke, what's up? And Lady Mock, welcome back to the Honor Guard. Let's freaking go. So here we are. Let's jump in game and make our preparations. Also, read officer chat. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I am also technically king of the kingdom, which comes with some responsibilities. Um, Benji wants me to fill his uh, hospital with some T1s, looks like. Let's get set up for combat first. We go from there. Will be my first time having a look at this game. Well, for those of you checking out the game for the very first time, as I mentioned, Yuzu Games is sponsoring today's live stream. There is a link in the description that you can use to download the game. And clicking that link supports the channel. So thank you very much for your support. I appreciate you. Jordan. Hey, welcome, dude. Finally early. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Let's freaking go. So. I need to do some things to be ready for this fight. Okay? So let's start doing those things. First and foremost, let's get my equipment on. This, this part's actually kind of easy. I've researched presets for my equipment. So there we go. Heraclius testing, by the way, is tomorrow, Smacky. Mishido, thank you for the six months. I want to fight too. Can I join? I mean, I don't see why not. We got to defend the kingdom. It's one kingdom versus another. Equipment is ready to go. All right. Now, each piece of equipment in this game, by the way, you can add badges to it. I have specialized for infantry. This is kind of a big tell to my enemies, but whatever. Um, I'm an infantry specialist, all right? Now, from here, big, big change I need to make is to my talents. Unlike in Rise of Kingdoms, where each commander has talents, in this game, your lord has talents, and that applies to everything you do. So I need to go and I need to change my Lord talents from full economy to full war. So I'm going to go now, and I actually have a talent preset called combat. I spent a bunch of time making this in advance to be ready for this moment. So I'm just going to hit apply, use a talent reset item, and we've switched it over, and we're good to go. All right, from here. I think I'm in a good spot, actually. I think we're in a good spot now. Um, I'm Iman says, damn, I can't see myself having talents. So, the thing that you got to keep in mind about these talents is that you get a lot of them as you level up your lord. 
You also get some more talents once you once you reach glory levels. Okay. Am I top 10 by power? Actually, I believe I'm number 2 by power currently in the server. I am number 2 in our server. Buggy, who's in our alliance, is number 1. Chiskul, the infantry main? Never. Jordan, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I mean... Here I am, an infantry specialist all over again. This game looks hella sexy, not gonna lie. Thank you, Parvis. I mean, dude, you get dragons in this game. Like, these two dragons are actually my dragons. Like, that's not just a cosmetic. Those are actually my dragons. Right here, baby. In fact, since we're going to war, let's do a little customization here. I don't know how this works. I've never done this before. But let's let's um put the battle paint on the dragon, okay? What the hell? I mean, it's, uh, you know, consumable. It lasts a short amount of time. But let's just do it. Let's do it. We apply some dye. How do I do this? We go, chat, we go in blue or we go in purple? Heraclius testing tomorrow morning. Dakota, man's a whale in every mobile game. Have fun, Chisquel. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Whoa. Okay, I can actually see some of these colors. It's kind of creepy looking. Do we like him darker or lighter? It's body dye. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I kind of see the colors now. It took me a minute to figure out what each slider was doing. Getting the ancient dragon is hard. Yeah, I mean, it ain't easy. All right, let's just apply this. Apply. All right, now. Fiery bones, blue dye. What does this change? Oh, it's the bones. I see it. It's kind of like the... Oh, yeah, there you go. Now we see it. That's kind of cool. I think we go blue. Yeah, it's the hue, saturation, and brightness. Good call. All right, we take it. What was this die? All right, that's a different thing. All right, cool, great. We're customized. Dragon is blue. That really doesn't matter all that much. The rest of my dragon is all set up, by the way. Um, this dragon is set up for infantry. I'm an infantry guy. So all my skills on my dragon are infantry. Seeing your power scares me, says Black Wolf. Hopefully it'll strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. In KVK, which starts momentarily, this is the War of the Kingdoms. Event begins in 17 minutes, chat. 17 minutes. I'm pretty hyped. I think I have everything I need. All my troops are home. I got a friend request. All right, cool. Um, I got some messages, by the way. Thank you for the chest, my king. So what is that from? That comes from over here, chat. King's Landing. Because, of course, if you watch Game of Thrones, you're familiar with King's Landing. I don't know if you like the graphics here. Of King's Landing, baby. We in King's Landing. All right. Depending on where you are on the timeline, this looks more or less better. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, King's Landing, everybody. So in here as the king, periodically, I can distribute some chest rewards. Some extra goodies to folks, you know. Can I explain this a little bit? Yeah, sure. So, for those just tuning in, 
to the Game of Thrones Winter is Coming war game. This is a city builder where you are collecting commanders. These are iconic characters from the Game of Thrones universe. Like you may recognize Melisandre, Rob Stark, Varys, Sansa Stark, right? Um, very iconic characters. Theon Greyjoy, you'll recognize. Seg, you might recognize. The Giant. Right? Tyrion Lannister. Heck, I even have the Night King. It's kind of a curious one. You saw that IRL? The Night King? Or King's Landing? Isn't your city already King's Landing? No. So your city can move around. So here I am. I'm the king. That's what this icon is over my city. All right. It's the crown. That does give me some extra buffs. All right. And you send out your army to do all kinds of things. Now, we're going to be battling other players in just a moment. Um, but just to show you what this looks like, for example... One of the PvE things you can do is a series of different battles that give you different rewards. You configure your army, you run them out to fight, and then you get a result. You saw them shooting the last season IRL? Well, that's crazy, Sasuke. How does power-up work in comparison with Rise of Kingdoms? Um... I would say that commanders contribute more to your power here than they do in Rise of Kingdoms. And there's a lot of value to having just tons of commanders. The game actually rewards you. The more you have, the more things you can do in alternate game modes. So having a really good commander depth is actually super valuable here. Now from here. I can show you back inside the city. This is the city building portion of the war game. And there are a series of different buildings that you work on, okay? One is the castle. This limits the level of all your other buildings. Another is, of course, your troop training building. Currently, I'm training T4 troops. T4 troops is the highest tier of troops I can access. There are lower tiers of troops. You can see tier 3, tier 2, tier 1. There is also T5, but uh, I do not have access to T5 yet. DWK, what's up, dude? It's all them troops and techies. So, while we're talking about troops, though, you can customize the look of your troops. And the process of doing this gives you a bunch of stats. All right. But theoretically, I could have my infantry look like these royal guards or these Lannister spearmen. How many people have T5? None in my server. How much to unlock T5s in this game? I don't actually know. I don't think I'm anywhere near unlocking T5s. I don't even know what I would need to do. Um, so the place where you do research is the Maester's Tower. For those of you familiar with the Game of Thrones universe, the Maesters are the wise people, the scholars. And um, it might be in advanced military. I honestly don't even know where T5 unlock is. No, it's not advanced military. Strangely garbed army. Perhaps that's where it is. I think you need just like a... Oh yeah, here it is. I mean, you just need like a shocking amount of research. I, I am not there. And we thought T5 and Rock was expensive. I mean, pretty much in all these city building war games, the highest tier of troop either takes time or money, right? Black Panther Gaming, how are you? So I do feel pretty good about getting my tier 4 troops unlocked because the process of doing that gave me just tons and tons of stats. I mean, look at this. Army attack, 135%. Defense and health, 135%. Sheesh. Jordan C Gaming says super pay to win as well. 
Um, there are definitely a lot of things you can spend on if you want to spend in this game. By the way, you see how my dragon actually looks different here too now? Like I died him and he's actually like, that is not just a uh, template dragon flying around my city. That is actually my dragon. Arvix, what's up, dude? Is there a kingdom ranking like in Rise of Kingdoms? I don't know if there are kingdom rankings, but there are global rankings we could look at. Um, so in the global rankings, you can see the strongest player globally. Dude, what the hell? The strongest player in the world is 17 billion power, all right? I am 130 million power for perspective. <clears throat> wow. Um, Alliance power rankings. 144 billion. Uh, our alliance is so low on this list, we're unranked. We're like 2.7, 2.8 billion. The 17 billion power player definitely has T5s. 100%. They do. All right. Um, now, if I go, if I go back to the map, we've only got ten minutes until KVK matchmaking happens, and then the KVK starts. I think almost immediately. I think almost immediately, chat. And from that moment, we can actually invade the other server. So here's my server. This is three eighty six. I'm the king. Um, I kind of don't want to be the king, actually, and I mean that in, like, uh, logistically, it's, you would rather have a thing like they've done over here. They, they basically have a shared account, um, that's called the Duke Holder, and they use that as a, you know, way of passing around kingdom titles. There are kingdom titles in this game. I'm going down a rabbit hole you don't need to know about. Anyways. I will basically be able to invade the opposing kingdom. I assume we're going to fight 385, one new kingdom fighting another. But it is possible that this new kingdom outclasses us by enough that we don't fight them. Last I checked, they have three alliances in their server, whereas we have one, which is a little awkward. Leviathan says my kingdom. Are we fighting your kingdom? We might be. Anyways. For now, I have the king title, which bestows some really insane buffs. I can show you what those are back in King's Landing. All right, if I hit enter, titles. The king gets 15% attack, defense, and health for all troop types. Pretty legit. Leviathan says we have four alliances, actually. Okay. Sure. That's not alarming for us. So chat, we may be a little out outnumbered here. We'll see. We'll see, okay. Um, but there are lots of other titles that you can distribute here that give different buffs. Um speaking of which, I can confer this one. NG. Buffs during KVK don't work. Oh, interesting. Show my commanders. Fair enough. Here are my commanders. They're in a pretty good spot, chat, not gonna lie. This is a pretty good spot. Um, I'm going for an infantry focus, and I'm working on the key components of a crucial strategy. The um, four-star Sonara isn't good at the moment for you, by the way. Well, not much to do about that now. Um... The thing that I'm ultimately going for is a combo with Sonara 
who has this really cool ability, making it so that basically all my troops are silenced, but I do extra attacks. This is an oversimplification. But uh, there's a 70% chance of getting extra attacks and a 20% chance of attacking twice. However, allied troops are all silenced and excited. Um, excited means they're unable to initiate weakness attacks. Whatever. I don't have any weakness commanders. Um, so the commander I need to pair with is over here. It's Rhea. I don't have her start up yet. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, we're getting there. She's in a good spot, but not gold yet. Okay, one thing you do, by the way, chat, is you increase the quality of these commanders by getting their medals. This is the equivalent of commander sculptures in Rise of Kingdoms, all right? Um, but Rhea makes it so that whenever allied troops land a critical hit, they inflict a bleed on the enemy, all right? And she also, I think, silences you. However, Rhea will be silenced for the entire battle, right? All right, she silences herself. Well, she's silenced anyways from Sonara. All that to say, I'm working on a really cool synergy chat, but I'm not there yet, all right? So for now, my strong lineup is Sonara, Andrea, Chris, Barrett, and Arya Stark. I also have some other pretty cool commanders. Rob Stark's a Cav commander, Melisandre Soren, Archers, as is Sansa Stark, right? Um, and there are others that you'll recognize from the Game of Thrones universe that I just haven't powered up quite as much. Vider, what's up, dude? Five minutes until we get this matchmaking. Let's freaking go. KVK matchmaking is in five minutes, chat. And then the fight begins almost immediately. Can you spend money in this game? You definitely can spend money in this game. Uh, the way that works in this game is that uh, you basically buy black diamonds and then you spend those black diamonds in the shop. There are different bundles. All right. And um, they let you specialize in different things, whether it's commanders, equipment. I mean, the whole nine yards, right? So yes, you can spend for progress, and yes, I have done that. Geeker says it starts uh, after the 30-minute timer. All right, good to know. This is my first KVK in Game of Thrones Winter is Coming, so I'll just say straight up, I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but like I kind of have been getting some de like some good coaching, you know? So I'm in like an okay spot, but that doesn't mean I've done it. Like doing will teach me a lot. I'll probably make some mistakes. Us Against the World by Darren Styles. That's the name of the song. And I thought you were free to play. <laughs> uh, when was the last time I played a game free to play? Um, honestly, the, the beta of Call of Dragons, I was 100% free to play. I guess it is fair to assume I could have been free to play, but I am not here. Micro Raptor says, Chisco, we got locked out of the KVK3 King's Land. Sorry to hear that. Heraclius testing will be tomorrow morning, bright and early. There is no Boudica in this game, although if you're asking if there are attractive characters in the Game of Thrones universe, the answer is a solid yes. Some of the more iconic characters are far more rare. I haven't unlocked them. Like Daenerys. Benji says, accept me back in the Alliance. I got you. All right, chat. Two minutes. Is health still the best stat? In this game, I would say attack is probably the best stat. So in this game, you have rows of troops based on the type of troop that it is. So you'll have a line of infantry, a line of cavalry, a line of spearmen. 
a line of bowmen. And a part of what you can do is change around that formation to counter what an enemy is doing. So there is counter typing. Cavalry counters infantry. Infantry counters spearmen. Spearmen counter cavalry. Um, so the reason that attack is a really popular stat is because you'll have typically one thing in the front line. That thing in the front line benefits from defense and health. Um, and attack, of course, as well. Um, but all the other lines of troops behind your front line, you don't really need defense and health. They're not taking damage. So attack is the best stat because it influences all of your lines, front and back and everything in between. Neil says I should stack up on tavern stats. I'll have to show you my tavern, and you guys can tell me if I've done an okay job. So in this game, you can build friendships with different commanders. And by building a friendship, they give you benefits. Could be combat stats. Could be passive, uh, passive speed up generation. Passive gold generation. All right, there's some cool bonuses. All right. That will begin in... I guess it's reset. Should I, like, quit the game and reopen? Who are we fighting? Ah, we're fighting 385. Chat, it's happening. We're fighting 385. The Four Alliance Kingdom? All right, well. Well. What? Why is there a weak-looking chicken over here? What's this? Why do I have a chicken that says weak on my screen? Oh boy. It's better than night fighting 1960. GG. BT Kelly says this will be fun. Bro, why do I have a chicken on my screen? Anyways, let's do the reset related events. Since we have a little 30 minute timer, I suppose, till the battle begins, we have just a little bit of time to get done the things that we would do after reset. As I mentioned, this game rewards you for having lots of different troops and troop types and commanders. So this is an event that your alliance does where you battle a series of PVE bosses, you deal damage to them, and you try to take out all the different bosses to get some extra rewards. I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm going to lose, but whatever. Um, this is a PC game. That's right. So these different bosses, you get bonuses with different troop types. So against Marjorie Tyrell, infantry is apparently really strong. So I just did 4.3 million damage. And I can hit again. Do more infantry. Okay. Um, I don't know. Who else am I going to pair with this? Whatever. All right. This is just one event. I also have spent a, a bunch of uh, black diamonds to get stuff. So let's claim all those rewards. I've got the equivalent of a daily special offer for Seg. I've got a daily special offer that I pick up for my dragon. There's the VIP shop and a bunch of stuff I'm buying in here. I can claim all these goodies. Can I buy more of these? Oh, I already have them. All right. Uh, confirm. All right. There is the fight the pandemic free loot that I get. I'll take that. And I think that covers all of the things that I've purchased. There's an anniversary event. That gave me some free gold. That's kind of cool. I forgot about this hunting event. This arrow event's really crazy. All right. 
now that I have done that, there's a couple other things I can do. Come on, start attacking. So we have another timer. It's 26 minutes till we can start attacking. We got 26 minutes here. So very soon. I can claim a free reward. Claim. Thank you. King's Grace. Cool. There's a war pack. Mm. All right. Discounted stuff. The winner of KVK gets blue diamond mines that uh, spawn in at a different level. All right. There's alliance-based rewards, individual-based rewards, battle reports. All right. We got a little time. There's a few things I can do here. One thing I should try to do is this expedition beyond. This is another PvE event that uses your commanders, and I'm sure that experienced players will watch me do this and just cringe. Because they're like, probably, bro, how are you configuring this? But whatever. Saiyan, thank you for the super chat. Let's smash these. We smashed through this. This gives me rewards, by the way. They have spearmen here. So I think what I'm supposed to do, chat, to get through this is when they have spearmen, I think I'm supposed to use infantry. That's not exactly rocket science. Just try to counter stuff. Yeah, I'll be able to show the enemy power. Sure. We can get a look at what their strength is. These battles look much more detailed, but I'm just sort of skipping them. If you wanted to see a detailed battle, I can show you one. So for example, let me run these in here. Can we actually hit battle? Hold on. I can actually, I think I can play the battle. If you wanted to see this. Um, Chris, we got 385. The Four Alliance Kingdom. Alright, chat. Here's what the battle actually looks like. Chat says I should be saving for the last levels. Uh, that's good advice. To see what I'm going to be facing. Saying M says I can port to your alliance. Wait, what server are you in? How many alliances do we have in our kingdom? One. <laughs> Omniarch says well, well, well. Oh boy. Yeah, so we're gonna be fighting against Omniarch. What's up, dude? How are you? So Omniarch is in 385. Uh, he's part, he's, uh, a part of team for Alliance. GG, man. Oh, boy. That's going to be interesting. So we get these rewards. These rewards are going to give us some really crucial buffs. All right. So we're going to bang this out real quick. We're going to, we're going to deploy these buffs. We'll be good to go. Counters in this game are actually insane, chat. It's unbelievable how strong counters are. I actually can't believe it. Now we need to counter this with infantry. So we bring in Rhea, Seg, Lats, sure, Haley, whatever. Counters are just freaking wicked. Omniarch. How's this going to go, buddy? You going to come hit my city? You going to you going to pay me a visit? 
What's going to happen here? Oh, God, I just got wrecked. Okay, that's awkward. Super awkward. Now I could bring in my infantry team at least. I'll bring in my second string infantry team. We bring in the second stringers. You're a tad stronger than me, so we'll see. But your kingdom's a tad stronger than my kingdom. So... I mean... It evens out, right? Oh my god. Dude, I, like, did no damage to them. What the heck? Um... Alright, that's awkward. Do I have to, like, bring in my A-Squad? I'm not gonna win if I start bringing in the A-Squad now. But that's kind of where we're at. Awkwardly enough. Looks like we both went Infman. I mean, you know, I'm an infantry guy in pretty much every game I play. I can't seem to get around it. Oh, wow, that guy is literally all... I counter this. I hard counter this. It's a bummer that I'm already weak, though. All right. Am I actually going to beat this? I've never done this before. Let's find out. Oh, they have cavalry. That's so awkward. I have no answer to cavalry. Say an M says, do it, Omni. Do it, Omni. Swarm the city, buddy. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Totally fine. What could go wrong? Oh, God. I just got wrecked. Super awkward. Uh, I don't know if I can beat them, chats. Very awkward. Indeed. Yeah, uh, okay. Cav mains from 385 are laughing right now. Yeah, no. I should have gone spear, apparently. If I had gone spear, this would be a totally different ballgame, wouldn't it? But I didn't. So here's here's where we're at. Um, This is awkward. I think I'm, I'm just in trouble. I probably can't beat this last level. Close. I've never beaten it before. I can just kind of dump troops in, but I'm not going to win. They're too strong, chats. It'll have to be another day that I beat this team, maybe. All right, it's enough of this. Let's go use this currency I got at the blacksmith. In this game, there's a really cool system called Refining. Refining basically lets you select stats. They're loosely associated with equipment pieces, but not exactly. And you can buff them. So all that green currency I got lets me buff my stats here. Now, because we're about to fight, out here looking like those guys rally Justin City right now. Jordan, thank you for the super chat. Is Justin getting rallied? Um... I don't really need research speed for fighting. So theoretically, I could take like this research speed and try to roll something else. Let's see what happens here. I like re research speed. Rallied army marching speed is not going to help me. Fortifications, I don't care about. Bowman defense, I don't care. Cav defense, I don't care. I don't care about cav health. I don't care about reinforcement capacity. I don't care about building speed. Nah. I don't want cav defense. Research speed is OP. Rallied size expansion. Hey, that ain't bad. Research speed is OP, but we are about to fight. I mean, I don't... I mean, if we're fighting, like, I don't need research speed, do I? I have a lot of research speed, honestly. I have a lot of research speed. Um, like over here, two and a half percent research speed. 
Motivation Recovery, Hospital Capacity, Bowman Health, Cav Attack. I should have stick, stuck with Cav Attack. That isn't bad. Research Speed again. Ideally, I'd get something more combat related. March Speed? I don't care about that for my rally, do I? Training Speed. Well, that's a nice one. Nico Fuma. Hey, what's up, dude? So resetting this is using a currency that I've been gaining slowly over time. But that's fine. That's literally the one thing that it's for. I got research speed again. GG. I mean, I could stick with Bowman attack. At least it's like an attack stat. I'll just stick with that for now. All right. It's enough meddling. I feel pretty optimized here, chat. We have how long until this fight starts? 15 minutes. I still don't know what this weak chicken is here for. Yeah, there is an app you can download for this game. For those just tuning into the live stream, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Today's live stream is sponsored by the makers of Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. That's Yuzu Games. The link's in the description if you want to download the game, and that does support the channel if you use the link to check it out. Probably shows the weaker side based on power. We definitely qualify as the weaker side based on power. That is 100% true. Um, okay. Other preparations I can do. I mean, I'm pretty well prepped. The chicken is the special anniversary KVK. It's connected to holding great castles in the enemy kingdom. Oh, interesting. Um, I have a bunch of this endurance energy that I can restore and use to get some items. May as well blast through it because I have it. You can only use so mu much of it per day. And this is a PvE objective here that we're banging out while we wait. Saiyan M says game is very fun. Everyone should try it. There you go. Is beginner jumping a thing in this game? Um, playing with a big group is a thing. I mean, apparently this group that we're going to be fighting against is like a restart group. So it's a bunch of experienced players. <laughs> oh, cringe. We'll be fine. Chat, we'll be fine. I, fe I feel fine. It's gonna be okay. What could go wrong? Holy cow, why is this guy so far away? Bro, they're never that far away. All right, whatever, that's gonna take a minute. Don't forget to fill your hospitals. You get points for gathering. Remember that? Yeah, I really should have filled my hospital. Not gonna lie. The Chisco community is stronger always. So we'll see about that. Uh, these guys look pretty thick. Not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, well, let's just keep it real. They're, they're looking pretty thick. Um,. Yeah, their main alliance is 4 billion, and they have a 3 billion, and a 1.5 billion. Oh my god. Uh, that's awkward. How do you get the iconic commanders like Daenerys? I assume you could do it free to play over a very long period of time, but... Pay paying for the hero is the way that you probably get them primarily. I've had fun playing this game so far. And I'm eager to see how this KVK is going to go. Uh, they are both the many and the mighty. So that's a thing. You can't get Daenerys free to play in the long run. GG. 
3.4 billion, 2.5 billion, 1.7, and 1.1 billion. Okay. We gonna get smoked, says Benji. Maybe. Maybe, but look. Hey. Hey. Maybe it just means there's more targets, right? Oh. Geeker says you can get Danny for free. All right, there you go. Leviathan says no. All right, well, we can have a debate in the chat about that. <laughs> can we get it? Can we not get it? Who knows? Ooh, quest completions for attacking a rebel group. Let's go. Let's go. Spin the old Wheel of Fortune for some rewards. Open the old backpack. Oh, hey, friendship items. I should use all those. Chat, we should use all those. I talked about it earlier. All right, so uh, one way you can get just a smidge more stats. Just just a smidge more stats. We got like 10 minutes till the fighting starts, by the way. So fighting in this game is happening imminently. Um, so the different commanders give you different buffs. And the amount that uh, of sort of stuff that they give you depends on your friendship level with them. You increase your friendship level by obviously bribing them. I mean, obviously. You bribe them with weapons, food, jewelry, desserts. So she likes desserts. I don't think I have enough dessert. Oh, actually, I do. So because uh, she likes dessert, I get double points on her. So normally it gives 50, but because she really likes dessert, I get 100. And when I increase her level, as I'm about to do, I get more combat points. Combat points are literally giving me stats, which is pretty sweet. Um, here's another one. We can just do this real quick. If I give her 15 of these, she'll be nice and happy with me. Bada boom. Um, she wants jewelry. This silk cloth qualifies as jewelry. Boosts her up a little bit. I'm sure I have some commanders that need ale, but I'm sure I also have things more pressing than this last bit in, in here. But... The thing that is kind of cool about this tavern is that you passively generate speed ups. So you can see after this time period elapses, it's like every three hours, I'm going to get three hours and six minutes of universal speed ups. And that's based off of the levels of all my commanders cumulatively. Um, same is true with economy expansion. That's giving me gold. And then troop recruitment. This is giving me literally uh, free troops. Justin, thank you for the super chat, dude. Hope you're doing well. Um. Okay, I'm gonna tag Discord. Let's see here. Looks like we have a bunch of tags already. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop in voice. I'm going to make it so that I think you can't hear voice, but I can. Benji, can you say something for me? Okay. I actually can't hear you either. I saw you go off mute. I don't think you're saying anything. Oh, now everybody's popping into voice. There we go. Ah, Pawn, what's up, dude? You're tired, but ready for KVK. What time is it where you are, Pawn? 2 a.m. All right. Uh, yeah, well, that's dedication to the cause right there, baby. That's dedication. Um, So at the start, you know, we have a couple things we got to do. We got to get our great castles. And then uh, figure out what the heck they're doing. They're going to probably invade us. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right. I'm going to mute over here with you guys. But I'll be chatting with stream. And I can listen to what you're saying. So you just call it out. And, and I can act. All right. This game looks fun. Hey, Laxist. Cheers, dude. What's up, man? Um, We don't have much time until it starts. I think it's time to pop some buffs, chat. So let's pop some buffs. 
I'm going to boost my total attack by 20%. Seems good. And uh, I'm going to boost my army size, right? Isn't this the appropriate time for a 75% army expansion? This is the time, right? This, this is what I have been waiting for, isn't it? Right? I used it. Geeker is uh, giving some kingdom coordinates to go check out. 75% expansion. Yeah, man. That's a lot of troops. Um, Actually, technically, I can go update my army presets real quick. Seems painful to get hit from Chiss Whale with 75%. It should be. It, it should be. Um. <laughs> Dude, I, like, with a 75... I can fit all my T5s in there. Or, all, I sorry, all my T4s. I feel like I should have a little T1 meat shield. Is that crazy? Little T1 meat shield? Whoopsies. Then the rest T5s? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, good enough. Save. Drama, drama, drama. Heracli is testing tomorrow morning. We're going to have a stream. It's going to be a bunch of hours. It should be a good time. For now, I'm hyped. We have KVK starting in five minutes. And you can literally invade the enemy's kingdom, which is pretty dope. I feel like we should maybe invade and start random porting around. The weirdness is that I'm like live streaming without a delay. So... If I'm the one random porting around in the enemy's kingdom, there's only so much I can get done without getting a little stream sniped for what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Y you know what I mean? What's the highest power in this game? The highest power player is 17 billion. We looked at that earlier. I was like, all right, sure. 17 billion. How many players in a kingdom? It depends on the kingdom. I don't think there's any constraints in this game around the kingdom size. Like, I think it could be infinitely large if that's what you wanted. Is that is that wrong? Alliances can only have 100 people, though. So that limit will be relevant. Alliances are important. You can get alliance gifts, like the ones I just claimed. Pretty cool. I mean, it's about to start, chat. It's about to start. First thing we'll have to do is reclaim King's Landing, I think. But I think, the, you know, I can just send one troop to reclaim this. I don't have to... I don't have to send, send the farm here. Just get it done. Three minutes, chat, until this begins. My friend has 80 million troops, not even 4 billion power. So that guy being 17 billion has like 600 million troops. Oh my God. That's crazy. Hey, if you are, hold on, let's run a poll. No, nah, let's do it this way. If you're experienced in this game, Game of Thrones, Winter's Coming, put a one in the chat. If you've never played this game before, or you've just been watching with my videos and streams, put a two. One of you're an experienced player of the game. Two. If you've just been sort of following along. We got Chris, Leviathan, Omni. Jinchu. Benji is a one and a half. Saiyan. Geeker. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I assume the three is an E. That's got to be an E, right? Unless you wanted to be... I mean, it could be G3. G3 Acre? No. Yeah. I feel like it's got to be Geeker.
No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about rogue players. In one minute, the thing we got to do now is take all our great castles back. So that's the that's the first thing we got to do is just reclaim the great castles. So I'm at King's Landing. I'll grab that, no problem. <clears throat> And you don't need to leave it garrisoned. Although technically, if you do leave it garrisoned, you get a bunch of points. So it's not a terrible idea to garrison it. I don't know. Uh, recapturing them, thankfully, there's like no troops in them at the start. So unless they came here and they were like, all right, we're taking your King's Landing, which they might do, honestly. Uh, we don't have to worry about putting a ton of troops in there. All right, 15 seconds. Points. Yeah, so the, the more troops you have in King's Land or Great Cities, and the longer they're there, the more points you get. All right, woo, we're starting. Yeah, I'm gonna grab King's Landing. We probably should occupy it, but for now, I'm just gonna tag it. Let's start with the tag. You're being attacked already? Did you send a one troop, or did you send a bunch? Ah, uh, see, I think a... Uh, Keeping your city safe and then sending a one troops. I mean, if they're hitting your city, you might want to recall your main commanders. Yeah. Oh, they're hitting the Eerie. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I might port over there then and fight. Oh, you won. Congrats, dude. Oh, it's... Wait, so the Rogue Alliance on our... The... I've, uh, that's weird. The, Alliance, the Rogue Alliance on our server wants to take it? I mean, as long as it's our server, I don't think we want to fight them. Yeah, I mean, I... Huh. Oh, they took King's Landing. That's cool. I, no, I want to fight somebody. Dude, come at me, bro. What's he having there? He's got almost no troops in there. I don't want to, like, send a, a serious army and leave my city undefended. This is very awkward. Um, I actually haven't planned, like, a second army. Does someone else want to hit King's Landing? Since they have such a tiny force in here. I'll tell you what. No, no, no. I'm, I'll tell you what. No, no, no. I'll hit him. I'll hit him. Nah, we just we just speed in here. We hit him. Yeah, we took it. So what happened there? We have King's Landing. Where's my report? Mail? Report? I have a scout report. Did they bail on King's Landing?
I don't know. If it was a random guy. Oh, yeah. Chat's like, oh, my God. March speedups. Oh, I got a lot of them, baby. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Oh yeah, I see it. Who's hit it? Who, yeah, someone's... Someone from our own kingdom targeted King's Landing. Weird. Um, I kind of want to port into their kingdom. Oh wait, there's somebody from their kingdom in our hive. Hello? They put up a peace shield just now. Yeah, they poured it into our hive and put up a peace shield. That's interesting. Ooh. They're fishing. I mean, I, I like fish. Alright, we took a bunch of the great cities. That's good. Do we have them all? Let's let's check. Events. Is it Castle Siege? It just has battle status. Uh someone needs to go take Casterly Rock, High Garden, River Run. We gotta get all those for the combat buffs. Someone wanna port over? Is someone in, in voice able to hit these other spots? High Garden, Castle, the Rock, River Run, Sunspear. Because we want all these buffs, man. We we, we want to get all these buffs for sure before we start smashing around. Alright, I think I'm gonna go attack the enemy server and see how it goes. Someone's someone's scouting me. Ooh. Alright, let's go hit the enemy server. Chat, we're gonna do it. Oh! Cool. Alright, we're in their server. <laughs> that was really fast. Hello? Hello? Okay. Uh, that's pretty easy to do. Okay. Uh So I think I want to random port around and find some cities to hit, right? If I click my city. Random transfer is what I want, right? Yes. Confirm. Maybe I'm not going to find any cities if I random transfer. I could hit this resource node. Feels kind of lame. I guess we just hit the resource nodes, right? I think... I want a port next to a city in Zero City, man. Is this a bad idea? No, I'm gathering? Uh, well, let's see what happens. Pretty sure I'm gonna fight, not gather.
So what happens there? <laughs> I put 26,000 in his hospital and I had two troops die. I think it worked out. Fire Benji boy, what's up, dude? Um, wait, 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 wait. Benji defeated Omniarch. Oh, Omniarch. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Three hundred ninety-five thousand dead. Omni. Oh, God. Buddy, he jailed your lord. Omni. Brother, what are you doing? Oh no, what? Oh no. Man down. Yeah, Omni, just a sad face in the chat. Omni, bro, you're, I mean, you're down and out, buddy. I mean, that's like, that's that, brother. Oh, what are you doing? Benji, he was not there a second ago. Of course he wasn't there a second ago. If you'd seen him there, you'd have played it differently. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. Um, hi. hey, Prince. Hey, welcome to the Smash Squad, dude. I need to find some cities. I'm just killing gatherers. I feel like such a noob. Oh, I feel like such a noob. Chat, Heraclius live stream is tomorrow. Tonight, we got KVK, baby. <laughs> We're killing farmers for now. And then we go hit the cities as soon as I can figure out where their cities even are. You really got matched up against Omniarch for your first KVK? You bet we did, baby. If you're getting attacked, you could port away. The great city. Um, all right, you know, I thought you're supposed to hit gathering nodes. I thought that's like, oh, that's how it, like you, you shouldn't be gathering during KVK. That's, that's a bad plan. I'm hitting enemy gatherers in their server. That I think I'm getting points. I mean, if I'm not gaining points, I'm definitely putting troops in the hospital. <laughs> that is a repair bill, okay? Oh, I'm killing their troops. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I filled their hospital, bro. Oh. That's brutal. They're getting dead. Oh, cities. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we, we just poured over. We hit these.
Yo, we zero this city. You, you, you zero all the cities. It's KVK. Now, I believe we get all our dead troops back. Oh, I captured his lord? Cat racked. Brother. Brother. Oh, he has no troops. I just took his lord, though. Whatever, I'll take your lord. I get a bonus for owning his lord. I get to execute his lord, actually. I guess he's, uh, his capital's empty. His castle's empty. He's a zero castle. He had nothing in there. Oh, I got his lord, too. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, how'd that go? I had 29 troops die. He had 83,000 troops die. Oh, chat. That's tragic. That's pretty tragic. Does he have anything else? Because I'm going to kill them, too. <laughs> Does he have anything else? Because I'm, I'm killing it, too. We go in for the full zero. Nah, he doesn't have any troops left. All right. GG. Got him, boys. All right. Dude, with one alliance, our server is winning this KVK so far. Granted, it just started. That really doesn't mean anything. Um. Okay, let's freaking go. I killed 26,000 of his troops. GG. Got him, boys. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we, I think we hit these. We take them everywhere we can get them. I think the biggest risk is that someone ports right next to me and hits my city. That's why I'm speeding to the enemy. So my, my, even though it seems dumb that I'm using speed ups like that, if someone ports next to me, when my main fighting commanders are out of my city, that seems really risky. So I speed into the node, and then I slow march home, and I can always speed home if I need to. But there's no way, if I'm on my way to the enemy, that I can attack, and then retreat, and then speed. I, don't, I just don't think I'm going to pull it off. Um, by the way, when I took their lords like that, let me show you what I got. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at what I got here. I got their lords in my dungeon, okay? They are in my dungeon. I get a boost for having their lords in my dungeon. And when I execute them, theoretically at some point, I don't know, I get a buff in the Hall of Faces. Execute prisoners to get these buffs. Can I actually execute them right away? What are my options? Set a ransom or release him. I can't execute this guy. Maybe he's too low level to get executed. Can I execute this one? No. Maybe. All right. Let's go random port and find some more chaos. Go to King's Landing. All right, let's uh, find somewhere cool to go. I could hit this node. Um, let's try to find something more juicy. Um, where is King's Landing? Pretty sure... Oh. Hello? What do we have here? What do we have here? Five million power? I mean... Sasuke, how's it going? 
We're hitting cities, baby. Ooh. We get a win. Do we capture some lords? Oh, he's empty. He's empty. GG. Already emptied. Guess I could have scouted him first. All right, what's the fastest way for me to find... What's the fastest way for me to find their King's Landing? There we go. Did they not take their King's Landing? What's going on here? Is this, can I actually do this chat? Is this a terrible idea? Is this a terrible idea? Doesn't seem like a terrible idea to me. We hit the hive, baby. Uh, looks like his city's empty, though. I guess I could scout things first. Chat, should I be scouting? Should I? Should I have been scouting? Where's his troops? Oh. Okay. Okay. Hello? Just full send, right, chat? We just full send here? Okay, 229,000 dead troops. Okay, got them, chat. Chat got them? Did you see that? Oh my God. 229,000 dead troops, chat got them? How many did I lose? Hundred and sixty six. <laughs> no, no, chat. Keep attacking him. He has resources. No, chat. No. A hundred and sixty six. Chat. No. Chat. No. No shot. Chat, I mean, I think I need his resources, but not like I need points. Chat, no. Uh, this guy has no army. There's, there's no point hitting that. Oh, that guy's 109 million power. Holy. That guy's 45 million power. I'd probably hit the 45 mil guy, but I think this Atu guy is online. I saw the troops go back to his city just now. It's a little, little risky. Why do these guys have so many unbubbled cities in their hive? What is this? Oh, those are farms. All right, well, that makes sense. Yeah, these are like farms. So some of those, some of those look a little juicy. Some of those look a little juicy, chat. Hmm. Let's just invite myself in. Let's just let's just invite myself over. Hello? Hi. Hey. How oh, hey. Hello? We in the hive now? I'm probably gonna get myself zeroed, but hey. But hey, let's go, baby. 
I don't know what I'm doing, but send it. Send it, chat. Knock, knock. Who is there? Oh, God. Ooh, 81k dead troops. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Scout him. Oh, oh, somebody's attacking me. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's coming at me. 300,000 troops. Oh, sheesh. Here it comes, chat. Here it comes, chat. Incoming. It's happening. Chat, it's happening. Oh, enemy army's been recalled. Come on. Come on. What do we got? Ooh, that's a big army. Sheesh. Oh, they got a lot of army there. Oh. Woo. Oh, chat. Hold on. I'm just making sure I'm coming home safe. Oh, that had to hurt. Chat. Oh, 161,000 dead troops. 235k in the hospital. Got him, boys! Ooh, 38,000 power. 38 million power. Just kidding. Hello? What do you got? Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Scout. All right. Ooh, hey, they got resources. Ooh, they got troops, too. Okay. Oh, I got his lord. Oh, man. I am not being kind to their hive chat. Oh, my God. Saying, am I doing okay here? Because I feel like I'm doing okay here. I feel like, what's my hospital? I got 2,000 tier ones in my hospital. And I have inflicted like 2 million damage. That is not right. Oh, 150k dead troops. God is Lord, do. Whoops. Oh, Buggy's here. Buggy, what's up, buddy? Sheesh. Hey, we having a party up in here. We having a party up in here. <laughs> I captured his lord. <laughs> Got him, boys. Oh, no. I lost 92 troops. They lost 177,000. Uh... Oh, what's this city? Oh, 45,000. Scout. 45 million, whatever. Oh, Buggy's got it. All right, Buggy's got it. Dude, Buggy and I are freaking ravaging these guys. Oh my God. All right, we scout this guy. He's got an army, so we hit it. Oh, 
Oh, man. Kick the tires and light the fires. Yeah, no kidding. Sheesh. Sixty-five thousand deads. Got him, chat. Got him. What happens if I hit him again? Are all his troops gone? Is that how that works? I want to hit him again. What happens? Maybe he's taking his resources here. Am I just taking resources? Yeah, I'm just taking resources. I don't care about the resources. I want event points. Okay, chat. We doing work here. We just, we just doing work here. Took another lord. My bad. Set up a double hit. I don't think double hits are a thing. We could rally. Buggy and I could rally somebody. Oh, killed another forty-five thousand troops. Technically forty-seven thousand. Who's who's counting? Who's counting? Uh, Micro Raptor, you might want to just like cl close and reopen the game if you got a, an issue there. I downloaded the PC client. It works great. Oh, I took his Lord. GG. Build his hospital. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Dude, we're just, we're just going up and down their line of cities, zeroing all the unbubbled cities. That is brutal. Um, okay. What's this Atu guy got, man? What do you got? Uh, there's no way we could take a 105, is there, chat? I'm 130. I can't take out a 105, can I? Uh, what's his troop count? That's a lot of troops to run a, a march into. A million troops? Can I take him, chat? Can I take him? Can I take him? Oh, he bubbled! <laughs> he bubbled, Chad. He bubbled. He bubbled. I think we could have took him. Nah, we could have took him. He only had T3s. He bubbled. He's out. He outy, Chad. He outy. He, he outy. See, this is why you should never scout with a scout. Is you got to scout with the full army, you know? Otherwise, just kind of a sissy. Right now, I'm playing like a sissy. But I'm new to the game. I don't know what I'm doing. So, all right, so we take it easy. All right. We we take it easy. I gotta be ready in case this Atu guy hits me. We hit it. Got his Lord. If I'm getting his Lord, that had to go well. If I I'm, I'm, if I take their Lord, that went well for me. 6k dead for me. Oh, whoa. No. 927,000 deads, chat. Oh my god. Chat, no. 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 Chat, no. Chat, oh god, buggy. Jesus, what have you been doing? Holy, I got to hit more chonky boys, baby. Did I already zero this guy? I can't remember. Did I, did I already zero this guy? Nope. 
I did not. I actually did not zero them yet. Crazy says hit him one more time. Does he have anything left? I don't think he has anything left. Oh, that freaked me out. But 386 is my server. Whew, I was like, okay, it's going to happen. He's going to hit me while my troops are out. But that's my own kingdom. We chill, chat. We chilling. What is, dude, what is this? Young Pop 3? What are they doing? Did you scare me? Gosh, bless you scare me, Young Pop. What the hell is this crap? Porting right next to my city. Yeah, it scared me. Yeah. That, you got my attention. Oh, scouting my city. Yeah, sure. Hit me. Okay, hit me. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Jeez. Lol troll chat says. Hey chat, if you're having a good time, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing to the channel. And um big thank you to Yuzu Games for sponsoring today's live stream. That is the makers of Game of Thrones Winter is coming. The link's in the description to download if you want to check out the game. I mean, I'm having a pretty good time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm having a pretty good time here. All these people, look, chat. All they had to do was use a damn peace shield and they wouldn't be having this problem. And the game gives you so many peace shields. You, all they had to do was use one of them and they would be fine. But they did not. But they did not. And I have chosen violence. So here we are. KVK is 24 hours. Um, there's a series of different KVK formats, apparently. Um, by the way, remember I said you get free speed ups and free resources and free troops periodically. There's my free free resources, speed ups, and troops. Um, what was I gonna do? I came to my city for something. The, oh yeah, to execute a lord. Can I execute a lord? I actually have never done that before. How do I execute somebody's lord? Also, why does he still have a sword in my jail? I need to fire the jailers. Why does he still have a sword? You can't execute them in KVK? Oh, all right. What are my kill points? Oh, I'm getting scouted. Let's go. Hit my city, please. Go for it, please. Be my guest. Be my guest. Let's we'll start singing like it's a Disney movie. Look, I have a three-year-old. I watch a lot of Disney movies, okay? Take it easy. All right. Gotta stay hydrated. All this winning is getting me thirsty. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Where Buggy go, man? Wherever he's going, there's got to be action. But he also doesn't need any help. I'm sure he's having a grand old time all by himself. We have their King's Landing chat. Chat, we might win this KVK. Oh, you're taking out Omniarch's alliance? No, you're not. Blaze, what are your coordinates? Blaze, my guy, what are your coordinates? Where is this? Oh, I know where Omni's hiding. I can find, I can find that. Brother, I can find you, Omni. You... Had one of these? Didn't you own one of these before? Where'd it go? Sunspear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunspear. Where's a? Oh no, Omni brother. 
Oh, I f oh no. Omni brother. Oh, there's Omni. Oh, Omni. <gasps> Should I hit Omni Arc? I feel rude. I feel a little rude hitting Omni. Do I hit Omni? Lamal, chat says. Oh, he poured it away. He's out of there. <laughs> He's like, nah. I, I mean, look, my boy Omni, I'm not trying to start a start a brawl with my boy Omni. But I think we are gonna zero as every single city here that's unshielded, so that's happening. Jordan <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Oh boy. Let me tell you, I have been buying teleports and it was worth buying them. Let me tell you. All these teleports were worth buying. Woo! Captured another Lord. Omni, let me tell you something, brother. I sent, our, our kingdom sent so many mails we tag people on Discord. We sent out mails. And there's still people in our server unbubbled. Like, they need to be zeroed to learn how to play the game. Ah, like, like, I don't know, man. Some people need to get zeroed to learn how to play the game. I don't know. Because we told them a dozen times, you just need to be bubbled. So... I need to find bigger cities. These are all small. We need the chonky cities, man. <laughs> I mean, look, Omni, if you see unbubbled cities in our hive, you should go take them out, man. They're there. They're definitely there. 100%. Honestly, we should have zeroed them ourselves. That was the real error. Uh, well, that one's already zeroed. Okay. We scout it? Does he have anything? No defense army. Alright. Already zeroed, I guess. Scout it. And? No defense army. Already zeroed. Alright. These cities are all kind of small. What's this guy got? Uh, no defense army. All right, Omni's hive is either in the process of being zeroed or zeroed, or they're bubbled, which they should be bubbled. How about this guy? Does he have anything? By the way, for perspective here, chat, I have 12,500 in my hospital. And maybe I had that many die too. But uh, yeah, we doing good here. We we're doing pretty good. Uh, uh, no defense army, but they got a bunch of resources I could take. Do I care about the resources, chat? All right. Good. Seems good. All right, where else are we going? Let's look at another one of the uh, great cities. High Garden. Omniarch has High Garden. Oh, he just took High Garden. Uh, 
Oh, no, that's somebody else. Oh, that's my server taking High Garden from him. Uh, or at least trying and failing. All right. I mean, good try. Give it the old college try. Riveron? Dude, Riveron. This looks so dope. I just finished watching the TV show. I mean, I just watched Jamie Lannister on this bridge at River Run chat. Anyways, I don't want to spoil anything. All that to say, the TV show is really good. I rewatched the whole thing and it was absolutely worth it. No questions asked. Casterly Rock says Blaze. We go into Casterly? Is there good eating at Casterly Rock? Ooh, there's good eating at Casterly Rock. Hello? Hello? There's good eating here. 78. Yo, 78 million power. Ooh, there's good eating here. No. Ooh. Oh, no troops are home. That's smart. Yo, that player knows what they're doing. That's a zero castle right there. That's just smart. That's smart. No troops home? Good for them. Oh! They move in troops. What are they up to? Oh, Young Pop, you're going to get hit, buddy. Oh, we poured it out. Young Pop, good dodge, brother. Good dodge. Oh, maybe the troops were on their way to hit Young Pop. <gasps> what if? Chad, I'm a madman. I'm going to hit this guy. I'm going to hit him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry it up. Go. Oh, he's attacking my city. Ooh. What happened? He attacked my city with my troops out. I timed that poorly. He timed it well. Good, good for him. Good for him. He wounded some of my troops, but I killed a shitload of his. All right. Hey, 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 that exchange was good for me, chat. That exchange was good for me. That exchange was really good for me. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that was scary. Because look, I got like backup commanders on my wall when that happens. Emergency aid? Why the hell do I have emergency aid? Oh, God, I'm on fire. What the hell? Uh, oh, my wall's dead. Extinguish. Yeah, fine. Spend diamonds. Oh, my God. Start repairing. Good God. Oh, I could speed up my wall repair? What? Why am I on fire again? Hello? Fine. Take my diamonds. Oh, my God. What? Hello? Um, okay. Let's uh, repair my fortifications. Takes 11 minutes. Yeah, I'm not even going to speed that up. I'm not even going to speed that up. Not even going to bother. Oh, is he hitting me? Hit my city. Do it. Do it. Oh, he hit my city. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, dude, he saw that my my crap commanders were on the wall. And he was like, I'm going to get them now. But then my real commanders came home. And we freaking clapped those cheeks. Woo! All right, yo, we got a crab dance. Yo, let's freaking go. We got a crab dance. Yo, let's, let's freaking go. Hey, if you've never been to my channel before, 
This is a crab rave. What is this? What is this for? This is your time to take a deep breath and chill the F out, okay? This is the crab rave. Take a moment, look away from your screen for like two seconds for the first time all day, like me. I'm telling this to myself, but maybe some of you have the same, you know, proclivities. You take a deep breath. Remember, this is a game we're here to just have fun, all right? We just having fun. Sheesh! That swing, though. That had to hurt. Why do they keep giving me emergency aid? I'm doing fine. Rally on my city. Good. Good. Bring it, baby. Let's go. Do I heal my hospital? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I just heal. I just do. I just heal my hospital here. We just heal it. See what happens? Why not? What could they do to me? You need to re your ally to reinforce you. Otherwise, if they get a full rally, I can lose. Should I repair my wall or no? Um. Hey, hey, Kelly, can you reinforce me? Hey, BT Kelly, are you able to reinforce me? But since you're right next to my city, you drop some troopies in there. Don't send your lord. Don't send any of your good commanders. Just drop some troopies in my city. All right, I could maybe get reinforced. See? See, I got reinforcements. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hit, hit me, baby. How bad could it be? Scout him. To refresh my fervor. What you got? No defense army? Yo, that's BS. They definitely have some defense army. All right. Did they cancel their rally? Um... I think I already zeroed this guy, <laughs> says Kelly. Wait, did they cancel the rally? There was a rally on me. All right, Buggy, I think you can bring him home. Or not Buggy, um, Kelly, if you want to bring him home. They they canceled the rally, dude. They're, they're not going to run that. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> For those asking about the new commander testing, that's tomorrow. I'll be streaming that. Should be a good time. But, I mean, it's hard to beat what's going on already right here. This is pretty fun. We got some action, baby. We got some action. Woo. Yo. By the way, by the way, by the way. Mishido says, why are these guys all so weak? <laughs> hey, so um 
in this game, you can get married. And when you get married in this game, you have huge benefits, okay? Like, as it turns out, BT Kelly over here, BT Kelly is my significant other in game, okay? So I can peace shield BT Kelly. I can teleport BT Kelly to my location. Like when you get married in this game, you could do things. Let me show you, all right? This is my wedding ring, all right? My wedding ring gives me a defense boost, hospital cap, free healing speed, whatever. Um, But I can do a love relocation. Send your partner a relocation invitation, moving their city to yours. I can do love protection, activates a four hour peace shield on my partner's city. And I can do love reinforcement. Oh, this happens all the time. Increase your reinforcement speed of your partner by 20%. It's super cool. No way. We're not double crab raving. That shit's crazy. That's crazy. We ain't double crab raving. That's. I can't handle that. No shot. Not, not a double. Um. Saying cheers. Thank you for the super chat. No, I I really like the marriage feature in this game. I think it's super cool. I think it's super cool. Oh, yeah. Dude, these guys are up in this hive. Dude, let's go. Sheesh. All right, all right, all right. Now where do we go, chat? Oh, apparently we lost Winterfell. Tragic. These cities are like 10 mil power. It's kind of whatever. What are, what are they doing? They're sending two armies at this guy? Hey, Pawn, cheers. Have a good night, man. Get some good rest. Um... Yeah, what are we doing here? All right. BT peaced out. I feel like I should peace out, too. Where else is good to hit, man? Where else is, is uh, juicy? What about Eerie? Oh, Landy is already here. Oh! He's already doing it, man. He's already doing it. He's already hitting stuff. All right, let's go look somewhere else. We looked at River Run. What about Winterfell? Did we look at Winterfell? Oh, we're taking their Winterfell. GG. Yeah, we got Winterfell. Yo, chat, apparently we may be outgunned here in terms of their power. But we doing it, baby. We doing it. That's an awkward name. Oh, this is already getting burned. Man, it's a good thing I have a lot of troops in my city, chat. Like, when they hit my city, first of all, it's good I have a lot of troops. Second of all, it's good that my backup commanders don't suck. Win? But I didn't capture his lord, so it's probably already captured. Yeah. These guys are probably already zeroed. Oh, he's got hospitalized army. Dude, my scout tells me how much is in his hospital. That's awkward. No garrison army. Yeah, these guys are zeroed. Oh, 
All right. What other damage can we cause in their kingdom here? We have their king's landing. That's really bad for them, chat. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this name, though. Oh, my gosh. Mishido says, do they have no whales? What's going on here? Maybe they're sleeping, bro. I don't know what to tell you. We, we just cleaned it up, though. I'm hitting this guy. Maybe I shouldn't have. Or maybe I should have. What happened there? Ooh, got him pretty good. I saw he was sending troops out and I was like, hey, if you're going to hit my alliance member Pula here, I'm going to hit your city. Oh, he poured it away. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm evil. All right. Hey, we scout them. We scout them. I think these are all zeroed, though, right? Wait a minute. Nah, they're all zeroed. this guy I don't, I don't remember zeroing them no defense army yeah they're zeroed man chisco woke up on the side of the bed where he chose violence this is brutal Um, so chat, the way I think we win this KVK is we zero enough of their players <laughs> that, that we get the W. I don't know. Jacob says you're definitely having the time of your life destroying these people. Bro. This is crazy. I don't normally go on a rampage, but I'm like, hey, it's Game of Thrones. That's this is the point. You go you go on the rampage. Game of Zeros kind of in flight, honestly. You're not wrong. Um, it feels weak to like port just to hit a gathering march, but there sure are a lot of them over here. Is this a bad use of a port chat? Feels like a bad use of a port. Ah, uh, but with a name like that, how could I not relocate and hit this? I need to hit this guy just for having that name. I'm sorry, but we're hitting them. I don't know if this is a trick. They're just baiting me in, but I'm hitting it. You rock a name like that, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Go zero their whales with buggy. I think we already did, man. I actually think we already did. Like, I already targeted the highest power guys in the hive, and we hit them, and, like, they're gone.
Ramar reminds me of Arya Stark at the dinner scene. <laughs> oh, man. Does this guy, does Sebko want to hit this guy? He, Dude, I, like, if he wants to hit him, he can hit him. I don't need to be taking all these resource nodes. Heraclius stream is tomorrow. Chat, today? Today, we just having fun in KVK. KVK is a one-day event in Game of Thrones. And the start of KVK is when I think a lot of the action happens. Because, like, look at all these unbubbled cities we're wrecking. If I wasn't online to do this now, I would have missed all the fun. I would have to actually play strategically. <laughs> Oh my god. Got him, baby. Got him. If Rock did short 1v1 KVKs like this, it would be in so much fun in the offseason. Couldn't agree more. This is very fun. I'm actually losing it over here. I'm actually losing it over here. Yeah, KVK is one day in this game. KVK is one day, okay? So, I'm not going to read all the rules. I'm just going to give you a highlight, okay? In this version of KVK, all of our killed troops come back. That is not true of all KVK formats, by the way. But in this KVK format, you get all your troops back. Um... And you get 20% more diamonds when you're gathering points. You get points for occupying great cities, King's Landing, and eliminating troops. And for gathering. If you successfully gather, you actually gain points. So you like need to hit these gathering marches. You actually like, you need to hit these. You, you can't just let them gather. You may be wondering, Chisquil, how do you have so many damn teleports? There was an event recently, the Battle of Essos. You were there, I live streamed it. And um, the Battle of Essos gives like a gazillion teleports. So that's why I have so many. Okay. By the way, earlier today, chat, we had the equivalent of Ark of Osiris in this game. It was very fun. Um, we, we crushed, man. We crushed it. But we got matched up with a team that was like... We had 45 people. They had 12 people. But each of their people were like really high power. So it was different. We had to like, you know, play strategically. Even though we have more people, like, we still had to be very smart about what we were doing. Because each one of them was just so damn powerful. Well, this is going swimmingly. Um, Can I look at their alliance? Apparently I can't. And she says, I love hitting the gatherers. Uh, all right, chat. What should I do now? We got in the mix. We zeroed a ton of cities. I'm ranked three overall. Solo point rankings. Solo kill rankings. I'm number two. Alliance point rankings. We crushing it, baby. We crushing it. Benji says, I love hitting the gatherers. What's Buggy doing to have so many more points? I think he's just more aggressive about hitting the cities than I am. He's got 50 million power on me. I mean, he is the hardest hitting guy. Probably across both our servers, actually. 
BT Kelly says we got all their castles. Now what? All right. So now I think we have to actually be strategic. And for example, we need to like hold King's Landing as an example. Which we currently do, which I find hilarious. How are we doing that? I don't think anybody's even in it. It's just free. They're not even contesting it, man. We just own their King's Landing. No one's even in there. <laughs> uh, it'd be, see, the one thing that I have found a little confusing about this game is that you actually don't need one good army. You need two if you're going to defend your city. You need like a really good lineup for your city and at the same time, a good lineup to attack with. Or, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, you need both. I, I do not have both. I do not have both. I have a decent backup, but, like, it's just decent. I probably should have invested more in my backup, but, like, obviously I've done fine for myself here today. Right? Like, obviously I've done fine for myself. But, like, my backup when these top five commanders go away is presumably these next five commanders? I mean, they're not bad, actually. It, it ain't bad. But it's not ideal. A t an attack march, a filler march, and a defender march? Yeah, the good news about a filler march is you don't really need any heroes. Um, but I suppose you would want some dragons. Dragons are really important when you're filling. Because dragons have dragon skills, and those skills give you a benefit to the rally. Where's the hound ranked? The hound is one of the stronger commanders in the game. I don't even have him. Um, Sandor Clegane, baby. He gives total defense, total health, total attack? That's insane. Normally, a commander gives you one troop type stat. Like, let me show you an example. He's giving you 75% of stats for all troops. Whereas Andrea, uh, she's giving me 90% of stats, but it's only for infantry. So Andrea is giving me a grand total of 90% of goodness. Whereas Clegane, I mean, 300% of goodness? Is that fair to say? Heraclius Max stream is tomorrow, chat. Do I go back to Home Kingdom now, chat? Did we do the deed here? Did we do what we needed to do? I mean, I could random port, I guess. But random ports, I feel like they just don't do very much. In, in this instance, like, yeah, uh, like, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I got a city. It's not even 500,000 power. Like, I don't think I'm getting anywhere with random ports. Any city worth hitting was in a hive. Random ports like a good escape mechanism, maybe. I think we return to our own server now, chat. I think we go home. What do you think? We have all the castles in their server. Oh my god. We're monsters. Um, so we only start to get points if we actually garrison them. I don't know. Maybe we should... Well, we could also garrison the ones in our own server and get points that way. But if you look at the rules, it says...
So for every 100 of each tier of troop, you get points. So the more troops we have garrisoned and the higher tier they are, the better for gaining points. We could garrison their King's Landing. Um, if we were to garrison their King's Landing, uh, this is a great city area. You cannot... We would port, like, right on top of it. But then we couldn't peace shield. But I don't think you can peace shield it if you're in their great city anyways. Can you really? In that case, we probably should garrison their uh, city and then peace shield, right? And like be vigilant for 15 minutes, but then peace shield. Uh, I guess we would have to attack it. So if we wanted to do this, we would make a small hive. Um, Buggy would go hit it. And then we would reinforce with like, you know, not our important commanders. And then Buggy could, uh, we could all peace shield theoretically. Is that right? Can we really peace shield? And I think Buggy's big enough that he could wait out the 15 minutes. Like, these guys aren't active. They're not going to rally him, I think. Where? Oh. All right, so we have a plan now, chat. I think the key is sending your highest tier of troop. That's the key to this. And don't send your good commanders that if your city gets attacked, you have a proper garrison, right? Um, Buggy, let me know when you're in... Oh, you did. You're already here. Reinforce. Garrison information. Holy cow, your march is 667,000 troops? Brother, that's... That's not fair. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna reinforce then. Uh... I'm gonna give you my infantry, as well as my inf dragon. The big boy. Yes, yeah, send it. Send it. Oh, what did we lose? Winterfell? Whatever, people are going to sort that out. So can we bubble here and just go offline? Is that the game plan? We basically fill their... Here's what I think the game plan is, right? Since we already zeroed all the unbubbled cities... We have Buggy Captain, everybody else reinforces, 15 minutes elapse, then we all can bubble. And we just chill until they hit, our, hit King's Landing. Like, they have to do something. Right? Uh, well, if I look at the rules, points. King's Landing, you get more points um, than any of the other great castles by a long shot. It's like... 5x the points per 5 minutes. And the higher tier, the better. Yeah. And I don't think there's any extra points for owning their King's Landing versus our King's Landing, but whatever. Here we are.
Okay. So... Now I have War Frenzy for 13 minutes. But theoretically, at the end of that, I can use a Peace Shield? I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. I thought it was not true. I thought you couldn't use a Peace Shield. But maybe you can. Um, Hey, Virtus Gaming, what's up, dude? Heraclius testing is tomorrow. Um, Normally, I do that showcase on release, but we had KVK right now, and Game of Thrones winter is coming, and... Man, it's... Wait, did they attack it? They scouted it. Whatever. Is there that much of an advantage for having all these jail lords? Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Chad is saying that we won't be able to peace shield. That would be interesting. That would mean the only person who's really vulnerable is Buggy. I mean, everybody's kind of vulnerable, but Buggy especially because, like, his best commanders are all... Or they're all out, yeah. But granted, you're pretty chonky, brother. I don't know. Can they... Unless they rally you, like, you're probably going to be okay. I don't know. How many teleports do I have? Oh, points. Oh, I got a lot of points. I feel like we got way more points for attacking them than we are going to get from having troops in here, right? How many points are we actually getting from this? If we reinforce, let's call it 2 million troops. All right. And let's say, hypothetically, they're all tier four, which they won't be. All right. So we put 2 million in there. We divide by 100. Because for every 100, you get the points. Then multiply by 120. So every five minutes... Oh, that's pretty reasonable. We get 2.4 million points every five minutes. That adds up. If I did that math right. Alright, so the only big question is... Can we peace shield? Wasn't there someone else next to us a second ago? Did they... Oh, alright. All right, so we find out 10 minutes. Um, Geeker says this KVK is special. If you hold a castle in the enemy kingdom for two hours, a rally-type neutral army will spawn next to the Great City. If you rally that thing, you get special points to the chicken. Oh my god, who's the chicken now? Are we the chicken? We're not looking so chicken over here. Wait, you're gonna recall from King's Landing? Who oh, who are we rallying? Is he online? Oh, alright. So we return our troops then?
I do not have cavalry. I, I don't think we're going to be able to... Wait, where are they? Where is this guy? I don't see him. Oh, did he port away? Oh, these guys launched a rally from XYK. Wait, what is this XYK? Did we zero these guys in XYK yet? I didn't zero them. They look pretty small, though. Nobody's really unbubbled. That's not worth. Yeah, these guys did a good job being bubbled. Yeah, that's what you get is M. Who are you rallying? Oh, you found him. Oh. All right, I got to get my troops home before I can actually be effective here. Give me a second. Oh, he can't bubble. All right, cool, cool, cool. Dude, we're hitting the strongest guy on the server. Let's go. This is going to be a big hit. Or a big flop. One or the other. One or the, one or the other. Hard to say which. We got to take the swing to find out. All right. I gave you all my inf. Oh, here's Mad. Maybe Mad's going to join the rally too. You're really feeling the pain of not having those march speed ups. <laughs> He's a slow boy over there. Yeah. Black Wolf says, get that rally to full. I don't think we could get it to fall, unfortunately. Did my troops come home? What just happened? Oh, did he port to our kingdom? Uh-oh. GG. All right. Oh, is there a limit to when we can and cannot port back home? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a 30 minute countdown? That's fine. I can return home anytime. Oh, these KVK rewards are really good. Hello? Did you claim those? I'm gonna go use those right away. Oh my god. Oh my god. These rewards are so good. Hello? Ooh, a thousand books of wisdom? Hello? Ah. Uh. That's amazing.
Um, can you put stars on a hero that's not legendary quality? Yes, you can, right? Huh. That's interesting. Cool. Should we port back? What's my... Oh, VIP level. Yeah, I haven't thought about VIP in a while, actually. I'm at VIP 12. That's... Yeah, that's a lot of blue diamonds for what you get. Um... So what should we do now? We're just waiting to go back to Home Kingdom. Can't you just pour it away, though? So he could just pour it away, though, can't he? And then the rally won't hit him. The rally will hit him. They just hit BT Kelly. Oh, that was a pretty brutal hit, actually. Mm. No, he's in our kingdom. All right, yo, I gotta go help my significant other. I'm gonna port. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, port over there. Okay, chat, we return to Home Kingdom. I think I'm back. Am I back? Let's go to my city. Hello, there we go, loading. Okay. By the way, this gives really sweet rewards. Claim it. Um, will I be up in four hours? Mm, uh, maybe. That's kind of pushing it. Yeah, I'll be up and start another one before I go to sleep. All right. Um, where's my city? We gotta go to my significant other over here make sure they're okay oh my god I think I can get him when his troops are out and his commanders are out. If I hit his city, you think it's gonna go well? Okay. I'm gonna wait. I don't know if this is going to work. This could be pretty bad. Did I get him? He ported. I won. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Uh, I put a lot in his hospital, but it wasn't that big of a victory. Um, yeah, I put it. I put it in alliance. 
That's still a good win. I'll take it. I'll take it. He, he's got to think about it now. That hospital's looking pretty full. Oh, he's boarding away. <laughs> yeah, it'll make you think about doing that again. Uh, oh my god, he has a million T4s? The dude is all T4s. Holy. That's insane. I mean, whatever, I gave that guy a pretty good repair bill on that hit. Yeah, I only lost 16k troops. I mean, I, I caught him by like a second or two. He almost got me. Oh, it could have been a bluff. That's true, chat. He could have been bluffing and totally shredded me. That would have been a really good bluff, <laughs> actually. That would have been a really good bluff. He has three dragons, though, but... Ooh. Yeah, that was that. So when I say he could have bluffed me, what I mean is that he could have sent a fake looking army out of his city and had his real commanders home. And then he would have obliterated me, man. That would have been brutal, but he didn't. And I won. GG. All right, I can one troop capture King's Landing here. A bluff item that you can use to two or three X your army when someone's count oh, scouting you. You can use it. Ah. Right. So, um. Bluff. I have 54 bluffs. I'm going to tell some lies, chat. We bluffing now. We bluffing. We bluffing, baby. Um, now I'm bluffing too. <laughs> We're all bluffing now. Um, my live stream chat is saying that he definitely had a bluff item on that made it looks like he has like way more troops than he does. But I don't. What I don't understand is that I, like, attacked his city. Does that give a true number, or will that still be the bluff number? Because that true number looks pretty decent. But it does not look as good as the scout number did. Okay. Yeah, I, I popped a bluff item. Now I'm bluffing, too. We're all liars here. A uh, healing cost reduction item? Oh, is that a thing? Where? I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any. Um. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna take back King's Landing in a second here. No, he laughs. I, I sent a one troop.
We we one trooped King's Landing, baby. For lore reasons, that makes no sense, but I'll take it. BT Kelly says he hit me with 500k T4 calves, so I don't think he's bluffing. Ooh, yikes. Well, the hit that he did to you, man, I basically did back to him. Uh, maybe not quite as much. <laughs> I still hit him pretty good. Are there any enemies in your home kingdom? Well, apparently this guy's running around somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, hello? What just happened? Weird. What's in my hospital? Oh, yeah, whatever. 27K, that's fine. Uh, Blaze, where are your coordinates? In Alliance chat. Okay. Who's this guy? Who's this Snowbeard guy? Did somebody hit him already? He's holding people's lords. Okay. Durabase is hitting him. All right. Let's see what happens here, chat. Mm. Oh, we definitely won. That guy's no longer jailing lords. Oh, and he got ported. GG. Um, I think I can see the report in the alliance log, battle log. Victory. 17k dead for the attacker, 45k dead, and a full hospital for the defender. GG. Where is he? Oh. All right. The madman. Let's go. You won? You just solo hit him? Oh my god. You did lose a lot. He lost a lot too. So you have 276,000 dead. He has 103,000 dead. And 300k in the hospital. Did he teleport or is he still... He teleported. Where is he located? Anybody have his coordinates? Oh. Are you hitting him again? He ported. Is he not going to heal his hospital? Probably not. Oh, did you connect? He keeps random porting. Yeah, we were rally tracking him. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know. Yeah. Alliance. Member list. Uh, who was it that wanted Knight Commander? Oh, yeah. I thought we had a Knight Commander set. Oh, uh, what rank are you? You got his Lord? GG. Game over. GG. You got his lord, you savage. That tracker rally really did work, man. Are you rank one, Benji? I don't know. I can't find you. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I can search your name. I'm not used to not being a... You're not... Dude, 
B E N. Are you in the alliance? What's happening? Oh. I do I need a capital B. Are you for real? Uh, okay, I found you. Um, changed here. Or confirm. Confirm. You zeroed him? Oh my god. Alright, Benji. Knight commander, brother. Let's just go. Oh, you jailed his lord. Yeah, I see it now. GG, buggy. You got him, man. Wow, you zeroed that guy. You savage. Jesus. I mean, he's basically down and out for the KVK. Dude, we're going to win this KVK. I did not think winning was going to be achievable. Holy. How did you... How did you still have so many cavalry buggy? Jesus. His hospital is 310, just about. Might be slightly more, but not by much. Yeah, but training's expensive. Holy. He's out of the fight. Unless he's got a ton of resources. I mean, actually for me, the resources are the bottleneck. I have the speed ups. T4, so many resources. Woo. I should just make T3s, honestly. That way I can just have a lot of them, but whatever. Um, wow. Oh, yeah, Battle of Essos 100% training speed buff was really good. That was quite kind. Loved that. Dang, do I even need to bubble? Did I just sleep unbubbled and keep these lords in here? I'd probably get zeroed, but like, it'd be hard for them to do it. I guess they could just pour it in and rally me, and then I'd get wrecked. Dude, that's crazy. What power is Buggy? Buggy, what's your power now? I can find out. 155. <laughs> ah, you went down by like 20 mil on troops. Not gonna lie. Uh, should we reinforce these great cities now? I don't know. You were 180 at the start. All right. But we get our troops back, right? Eh, we get them back. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah, we get all our troops back after this. That seems OP, says BC Kelly. It does seem not bad. Um, okay. Kalos says, sheesh, that's a big boy. Yes, indeed. This seems good. I'm going to uh, mute to voice for a minute. All right, team. I feel like this has been a very fun KVK stream. And um, honestly, I had a freaking blast playing. I'm not going to lie. Like, you can tell I'm having a really good time. Um, so if you want to play yourself... And check out Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. The link is in the description. Using that link does support the channel. And a big thank you again to Yuzu Games for sponsoring today's live stream. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. And like, I think we could get a W in this KVK. But the thing is that points do accumulate really quickly. So 
Could be that their kingdom gets super active while we're all sleeping. They zero out a bunch of people and like... I mean, it just could be it, that it is what it is, right? Uh, so they could flip a -roo this thing and, and get a W. Hard to say. Um, but this KVK format lasts 24 hours. And I have to say, it is insanely cool. This is very fun. Kingdom Invading is super cool. Um, big shout out to my boy Omniarch who made an appearance on stream. You should definitely check out his YouTube channel as well. And um, again, if you want to join us in our server even, you can do that. We have instructions, the links down below in our Discord server. Discord.gg. Well, slash just cool is my Discord server, but in the description, there's one for the Game of Thrones Alliance and group, so you can use that if you want to get here. Um, and I've got instructions there on how to port into our kingdom, which you could do if you want. All right. With all that said, I had a freaking blast, and I think we're going to wrap up the live stream. I'll be streaming again tomorrow, um, although we'll be back to Rise of Kingdoms. And again, if you want to see more Game of Thrones Winter is Coming, definitely leave some comments and drop some likes on the stream. Again, one big shout out to the makers of the game for sponsoring the stream, but also to the folks that followed me into the game in, in our alliance here. Uh, really fun time that we're having here, all right? Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Take care, everybody.